Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a giant ape Dokkan Fest TUR Vegeta. And it's coming in from Power Guy Pac-Man. Shout out to you, my guy. I know you're in my Discord server. Send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at Jiva.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Uh, there's nothing inside the email to read, so we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. I did write down his name inside my notepad so I can get back to his card on a later date. So, uh, let's see. Dokkan Fest TUR, Strength from Royal Blood, Giant 8 Vegeta. These are stats at Rainbowed. Uh, they are relatively low. For a custom card stamp okay so this card might be pretty powerful then maybe he balanced out this card by lowering his stats but giving him a ton of stats inside of his kit uh so anyways his leader skill is uh, what's that it's pure saiyans terrifying conquerors i can't highlight it for some reason pure saiyans terrifying conquerors or saiyan saga three key and one 70 percent across the board and the 30% of the stats slash 200% of the skill is going to be to Space Shiving Warriors, Gifted Warriors, or Giant Ape Power. So, first glance at this category, not all the greatest. Cool, we got Ginyu. Cool, we got Broly. Uh, cool, we got 60-year EB Vegeta. We got Turles. Um, Maybe Baby in some specific scenarios. We do have Kui here. We have the new Dokkan Fest Vegeta, who is uh, quite good. Um, we got we do got this Dokkan Fest first form Frieza. Uh, the, what's his name? Um, King Vegeta. Oh my god, I was about to call him Vegeta. King Vegeta. Well, this category is okay. Because you also have the tech of uh, SSJ Vegeta. Yeah, this category is alright. Okay. Yeah, not not terrible. Raditz. <laughs> uh, do we have any super easy A's down here that I glanced over? Because I did pull up the category and I didn't take a peek at what uh there possibly was on there. Okay. Okay, so there is, yeah, the new uh, Super Easy A Full Power Frieza. Yeah, that's about it. I think I glanced over one, probably. But if I glanced over one, please let me know. Uh, anyways, let's see what we got here. He has an interest animation, the Royal Air. The interest animation activates and he launches a guarantee super for three turns from start of characters. First appearance. Nice. And the quote is uh, from, of course, then you got Nappa. Vegeta, we've arrived. And then Vegeta says, hmm, well then. <laughs> and of course, we have the little thing where, of course, in the, the space capsule. So his passive, let's see what we got here. His passive, he gifts and talent of royalty. 190% attack and defense at the start of the turn. Nice. 95% attack and defense when attacking. Nice. 10% attack and defense with each attack form up to 90%. Good. I mean, we're, we have a lot of stats to start out with. I think it, I guess he really did balance out this card by lowering his base stats. Of course, that rainbowed. And then just giving him a ton of uh, percentage boost inside of his kit. So I guess that is true. Uh, but that's uh, what I'm seeing for the first couple of sentences. All right. So he has 15% damage reduction unrestricted. And he gets additional 10% damage reduction with each super attack performed within the turn up to 70%. Okay. So that's up to, if he does up to seven plus supers, which I don't know if he has, he can do that much in his kit. He can build up to 70% damage reduction. So, okay, let's continue reading. 95% attack and defense with each Saiyan Saga category ally on the attacking turn self excluded okay yeah this guy has a lot of stats wow okay and he has a 70 percent chance to dodge before performing a super attack nice i do like that and he launches three additional attacks that all have a 70 percent chance to become a super attack wow okay so i guess it is possible for this guy to is it possible for him to touch that 70 percent damage reduction at the same turn all right we'll see let's continue let's get, just continue reading because i just keep yapping on just an additional super attack, when uh, there is a character whose name is Raditz on the team, and 190% uh, attack and defense, and performs a guaranteed crit when there is a character whose name is Nappa on the team. So you want a Nappa and Raditz, pretty much. So you get you have Raditz on the team, guaranteed super. You have Nappa on the team, you get a guaranteed crit as well as 190% uh, attack and defense. Yeah, this car has a lot of stats built into his kit. I guess it does make sense that his stats are lower for his rainbow, uh, of course, um, hidden potential. 
and he launches an additional super attack when facing an enemy whose name is Goku or a super class Saiyan Saga category enemy. And uh, he also, when your HP is 45% or less, or when performing the active skill, he gets 5 key, 90% attack, 45% defense, launches an additional super attack, and recovers 45% HP once only. Awakens into giant ape when conditions are met. And his super attack, final bullet attack, he gets 30% attack for one turn, does immense damage to the enemy. Okay. So... It might actually be possible for this guy to get... That's up to 7 plus supers he has to do to get that 70% damage reduction in that turn. Well, technically, he'll do his first super, so you you won't have to count the first super. But yeah, after that, you have to do up to 6 plus supers. So, first things first, he does his first super. Right? Cool. He gets that 10% damage reduction. He already has 15% damage reduction, mind you guys. And a 70% chance to dodge before he attacks, which is obviously good uh so let's see what we got here so he does his first super get that 10 percent damage reduction you get extremely lucky where is it you get extremely lucky and this guy does uh, all three of his uh, additional super attack chances and they all hit so i'd be three more supers right so we're up to four plus supers right now he does his guarantee super for you having a raddus on the team and he also does his guarantee super when you're, when you're going up against a goku or a saiyan saga category character so that that will be your first super your next three supers you get your guarantee super from raditz you get your another super from from goku that'd be six supers and when of course you're below the hp threshold or or if you activate your uh <laughs> your active skill that's another guarantee super so this card can realistically just do seven supers i am a fan i like that Pac-Man kept it consistent throughout his card. Defensive abilities to fall back on. A 70% chance to dodge before he attacks, as well as his 15% damage reduction. After he supers, he can get up to a realistic amount of damage reduction post-super. And, uh, like, let's say that... Bro. <laughs> it, realistically, is he doing 4 plus supers a turn? Not counting his first super? He's realistically doing 4 plus supers a turn realistically because that's a 70 percent chance to, to launch an additional super that is that's good certainly so he has the damage reduction he has a damn the base damage reduction and a damage reduction build up within the same turn he has the 70 percent chance to dodge before he attacks which is very helpful for him for him to send inside the first five so he has multiple additional super attack chances as well as multiple guarantee supers built into him he has a heal he has a lot of stats built into his kit i like this design absolutely I, I like that everything comes together very well the only thing is the only thing is what is his link set i'm curious okay um i i mean he doesn't gain defense on super but you could make the argument that is that that's okay considering the fact that he does get that high amount of damage reduction within the same turn and he could do multiple supers to have that actually uh come to fruition um so yeah let me go ahead and see what's his link set uh does he have a prepare for battle no he doesn't okay same warrior race same roar over nine thousand. makes sense royal lineage transform big bad bosses you love to see it and fierce battle okay no prepare for battle okay so yeah this guy definitely needs to start out with like he needs to start with like three key if anything because he doesn't have any key in his kit oh wait, no he does I'm crazy. He does. He does have key in his kit, but you have to be below the HP threshold or you have to activate your active skill. Hmm. Start this guy out with three key and we're golden. That's it. That's the only thing I'd add. I feel like this, the, the design is very, very just dope. It's a dope design where you have to have like a Raditz and a nap on the team for you to get your buff slash your guarantee super off as well as your guarantee crit off. Um, I do like the fact that he gets that dodge before he starts building up his damage reduction within the same turn. I like that he has multiple additional super attacks as well as like multiple guaranteed super attacks built into his kit. He has a heal. He has guaranteed crits. He has so many stats. I like that everything just, everything looks consistent in this card. And I see why he left the 30% attack for one turn here because if he's gaining 30% attack and defense for one turn, does that hurt the design of how uh, power, uh, power guy Pac-Man went with this card? Possibly. But 
I like the design. Only thing I would do is give this guy three key with his 190% attack and defense at the start of turn. Because for you to get this key, he has to be below the HP threshold and he has to activate the active skill and his ones only. So, yeah. And he doesn't have prepare for battle. So, yeah. Just, I would if, if we're not going to have prepare for battle on this guy, which I can also see why you wouldn't add that to him because it's Saiyan Saga Vegeta, uh, I would add three key at the start of turn. That's it. That's all. All right, so categories, Pure Saiyans, Terrifying Conquerors, Saiyan Saga, uh, Space Traveling Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Giant 8 Power, Battle of Fate, Inhuman Deeds, Final Trump Card, Planetary Destruction, Accelerated Battle, Giant Form, Dragon Ball Seekers, and Vegeta's Family. And his active skill, that being the Gallic Gun, can be activated on facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attacking turn once only. Greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy. Okay, and the quote is, well, first comes from Vegeta, that's it, I'm reducing this entire planet into rock, <laughs> say goodbye. Okay, let's see what the giant, and of course this is him, turning the, the planet into rock. And his giant ape form, and ultimate last resort, transforms into giant ape when HP is 50% or less starting from the fourth turn of battle, and lasts for two to three turns. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, and this is, of course, Vegeta himself. His passive inside the, the Giant Ape, that being Power of, of Giant Ape. Uh, six key and 60% attack and launches a guaranteed super with a guaranteed crit. So, guaranteed super, guaranteed crit, attack buff, key. Can't go wrong with that. You need key in the Giant form, right? And considering that he's a Dokkan STUR, the key is nice for him. And his super attack, that being Power of an Ozaru. Master raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage to enemy. Meet your end is the quote. So, I... We'll say he doesn't have a built-in giant form. That's cool. Um, I don't like the fact that he doesn't have prepare for battle, but I guess it makes sense considering the fact that it is a Saiyan Saga Vegeta, so I get it. Um, active skill. Can't say too much about it. Um, it's it's alright. He's not stacking attack, so it's probably not gonna hit too hard. Well, technically he does does he Does he build up? I don't quite remember. He does. Yes, he does build up. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I do like um, this kit. I do. I like how consistent and I, I like how clever it is. Kind of referencing towards the, towards the show. W, I, I do like this card. I'm a fan. Yeah, and I feel like his stats are low on purpose. I, I, I can see it. Absolutely. I absolutely see it. But I think that's about it. Uh, Pac-Man, W card, man. W card. Um, send your custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com to get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Uh, join the 24 7 Discord server. A link is down below in the description for you to join today. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next week. I absolutely love you all. Peace.